Hi everyone! Today we are presenting you a new version of Crypto Speculator Trading Bot for the FTX Exchange. Crypto Speculator Bot executes market orders using a multifunctional average strategy trading spots and futures. The main advantages of the bot are a wide range of methods for entering a position, as well as averaging options. There are all necessary settings in this bot. Besides regular settings for FTX, you can adjust the following settings. Martingale coefficient, multiplier, method for entering the first transaction of the grid according to preset indicators, both during trend movement and in sideways trading. An important factor that increases profit is the deferred execution of orders. Thanks to it, the bot doesn't enter the trade by opening all positions simultaneously, which helps the bot avoid sitting in a drawdown. You can configure it so that when some positions are in the drawdown, Others start trading and make a profit while the first ones are waiting. When starting the bot, we get to the window to configure the connection to the exchange. In the license field, enter the license to access the functionality. You acquire it after you purchase the bot. In the open key field and the secret key field, enter the public API key created on the exchange. In the sub-account field, enter the name of the sub-account which will be used for trading. If you are going to trade on the main account, leave this field empty. Then choose an interface language you prefer, Russian or English, and click the connect button to connect to the exchange. After a successful connection, we get to the main page of the bot. There are several information blocks. Account full balance displays data on the current account balance in dollars bitcoins and shows how much funds are available in percent. Open positions. This block displays the number of open spot and futures positions as well as the actual leverage. Connection status. Displays the ping to the exchange and connection quality. Account dynamics. Displays a chart of the bot profitability. Data on the account state is added to the graph no more than one time in four hours interval when the bot is launched. Then we go to the bot navigation menu. Uh, there we can see bot settings, account state, management, filter, charts, statistics, logs and instruction. In the bot settings tab there are a few blocks. Position volume, here we select the position entry mode. Entering a position in percent of the deposit, entering a position with a fixed amount of the base currency. For example, in the Bitcoin dollar trading pair, when this check mark is set in this section of the trading strategy settings, in the management tab in the volume column, the parameter for entering in dollars will begin to be counted. That is, when you set 100, the entrance will be with the 100 dollars. Entering a position with a given amount of quad currency. For example, in the Bitcoin dollar trading pair, when this check mark is set in this block of trading strategy settings, in the management tab in the volume column, the parameter for entering Bitcoins will start to be counted. That is, if you set one, then there will be an input for one Bitcoin. Additional deals mode. In this field, we select the mode of placing additional deals all at once or one by one. When the additional purchase takes place, the bot processes the information, receives data that the, the order has been triggered and issues a new one. Take trail and stop mode. Let's take an example of the take indicator. When specifying the percentage of the price, the bot will count as a percentage of the average entry price. When setting the direct price value in the example Bitcoin dollar pair, the bot will count the take profit of the average entry price in dollars and in the trading strategy settings. In the management tab, the take profit value should be set in dollars. Bot copy name. This field makes it possible to name the bot to make it easier to navigate among launched bots. Clear profit history clears the chart of profitability dynamics on the bot's home page. In the account state tab, there are a few information blocks. Open positions block, this block shows information on trading pairs, 
the average entry price into a position, the volume of currency purchased, the percentage of profit or loss, the liquidation price. Open orders block. This block shows which orders are placed by the bot under which contract operation type, short or long order type, stop or limit, price, volume. Deposits block. This block shows all coin balances, the full value of the coin balance as well as how many free coins are left, as well as the full value of the balance in US dollars and Bitcoin. Then management tab. Start button is for launching the bot, stop button is for stopping the bot, cancel all orders is to cancel all placed orders. The ones in the bot settings, close all positions is to close all positions, the ones in the bot settings. Trading strategy settings for this bot is for setting a trading strategy. Settings for sport and futures are the same. In the pair field from the drop down list of contracts, select the instrument you need. If you tick this exit only, the bot will work only in a, the mode of position closing. That is, if a position is open, the bot will trade it according to the settings, but after closing a deal, it will not open in U1. Ticking the long checkbox enables buy orders. Ticking the short checkbox enables sell orders. In the time frame field from the drop down list, we select the time frame we need for the strategy implementation. In the period field, we set the period for a strategy indicator that will be used by the bot when entering a trading strategy. In the opening method field, we select the method which will be used by the bot when opening a deal. In the fields value, number 1, 2, 3, we indicate additional parameters for the strategy, if required. If you tick exit on signal checkbox, an opposite signal will be the signal to close the deal. In the additional deals count field, we indicate the number of these additional orders. If you set 0, then there will be no additional orders. In the step field, we set the distance between orders of the entry price in percentage. In the multiply field, we specify the multiplier for this step. If you want the distance between additional buy orders to increase, then we make the multiply greater than 1. In the martingale field, we specify the martingale coefficient for additional buy orders. The value of this field cannot be lower than 1. For the take profit, stop loss, trailing profit field, there are exit modes in the bot settings tab. Use them before setting the parameters in these fields. In the take profit field, the take profit size is set. If you do not want to set a take profit parameter in the strategy, set 0 in this field. In the stop loss field, the stop loss value is set. If you, we don't want to set a stop loss parameter in the strategy, set 0 in this field. In the trailing profit field, the trailing profit value is set. If you don't want to set a trailing parameter in the strategy, set 0 in this field. The trailing profit starts following the current price when the profit is equal to or greater than the specified size in percentage. And then, when the price moves favorably for a trader, the bot will move the stop following the current price. Keep in mind, if you stop the bot, then the trailing profit doesn't get disrupted. The trail may be disrupted after starting the bot when changing the bot settings. In the volume field, this is the volume of the position in the specified version of the position entry mode in the bot settings tab in the position volume block. Note that the bot itself checks the deal for the size of the minimum order following the requirements of the exchange and increases it to the minimum required from the exchange. If you tick the delayed entry checkbox, the bot will enter only if the position in the pair specified in the in pair field has a drawdown equal to or greater than the value in the with the drawdown field. The drawdown is calculated from the first transaction, not from the average price. An additional field is in the same site. To clarify the pending transaction, if you check this checkbox, the bot will open a deal only in the direction of the main deal, which is indicated in the pair field. In the pair, if the pair does not have permission to direct the trading pair, the transaction will not be open. 
In the closed position field, when the body is suspended, it closes all positions and removes all orders for the selected trading pair. In the statistics tab, you can generate a report on transactions made by the bot. You can choose the, to generate a report for all pairs or for a specific pair, as well as for the entire history of the bot trading, or select a time range for generating a report. In the logs tab, we can check the information about the bot operation. There is an export button. If you have any issues, clicking the button allows you to create a report on bot operation. If there are any issues with bot operation, forward this report to technical report. The instruction tab contains information on setting up the bot a description of strategies and answers to the most frequently asked questions. Then go to the management tab and let's analyze the entering method implemented in the bot. Best bid ask. Using this opening position mode, the bot will place an order entering with a limit order at the best offer price, bid price. This is available only for spot. In the period value 1, 2, 3, set 0. Market. Using this opening position mode, the bot will enter with a market order, available only for the spot. In the period field, in the value 1, 2, 3 field, set 0. If a strategy ends with up, this is a breakdown strategy when the bot enters the deal with stop order. If a strategy ends with down, this is a rebound strategy when the bot enters the deal with a limit order. Channels Don't chant ch channel strategy up. Built on the breakdown of the price channel. In the period field, we specify what period the channel should be built for. When the price breaks through the upper band, the bot goes long. When the price breaks through the lower band, the bot goes short. And respectively, when the price breaks through the lower band, the bot exits long order. When the price breaks through the upper band, the bot exits short order. In the value fields, 1, 2, 3, set 0. Don't chant channel strategy down, built on the rebound from the price channel. In the period field, we specify what period the channel should be built for. When the price rebounds from the lower band, the bot goes long. When the price rebounds from the upper band, the bot goes short. And respectively, when the price rebounds from the upper band, the bot exits long order. When the price rebounds from the lower band, the bot exits short order. In the value 1, 2, 3, set 0. SMA cross signal is a moving average crossover. Simple moving averages, SMA, are used in this strategy. The bot buys when a short-term moving average crosses above a long-term moving average uptrend and sells when a short-term moving average crosses below a long-term moving average downtrend. The short moving average has a shorter time period and the long moving average has a longer time period. In the period field, we specify the period for a short term moving average. And in the value number one field, we specify the period for a long term moving average. The remaining value number two and value number three are not significant for both entering and exiting a position. So we set zero everywhere. RSI signal is based on the RSI relative strength index indicator. The RSI provides signals that tell the bot to go long when the cryptocurrency is oversold and to go short when it over overbought. In the period field, we specify the RSI period. When entering value number one is the indicator value at which the bot goes long oversold border, and value number two is the overbought border for going short. The Bollinger Band's up signal is based on the Bollinger Band indicator. When the price touches the upper band, the bot goes long. When the price touches the lower band, the bot goes short. And respectively, 
the bot exits long order when the price touches the lower band and exits short order when the price touches the upper band. In the period field we specify the period of constructing the band and in the value number 1 field we indicate the deviation. Value number 2 and value number 3 fields are not significant, so we set 0 everywhere. The Bollinger Band's down signal is based on the Bollinger Band indicator. When the price rebounds from the lower band, it is a signal to go long for the bot. When the price rebounds from the upper band, the bot sees it as a signal to go short and respectively the bot exits long order when the price rebounds from the upper band and exits short order when the price rebounds from the lower band. In the period field we specify the period of constructing the bands and in the value number 1 field we indicate the deviation. Value number 2 and value number 3 fields are not significant, so we set 0 everywhere. MACD signal is based on the MACD indicator. The bot goes long when the indicator histogram shifts from a negative to a positive zone. The bot goes short when the indicator moves away from positive to negative. The period is the setting of the period for a short moving average indicator. When entering a position, value number 1 is the setting of the period for a long moving average indicator. When entering a position, value number 2 is the setting of the period for the MACD signal. In the value 3, set 0. If some parameters are not used in the strategy, set any values, but do not leave an empty field. If you set 0, it's clear that the value is not used. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next videos.